Hi guys and welcome to Myth Busting Part 9. This is the series where I take your myths from the comments and test them in the game. In today's episode, I tackled a bunch of myths. Some of them took me hours to figure out the answer to, so I hope you enjoy. Let's get right into it. The first thing I want to say to start the video is that last time I tested if Orc enemies were weak to Sour. I only tested this on the Orc Weaver Jr as I thought it would be the same for all Orc enemies. Apparently, the Orc Weaver Jr. is the only Orc enemy in the game that isn't weak to Sour. Maybe due to some sort of bug. So, I wanted to test this again with the other bugs. First, I tested it on the Orc Bombardier Beetle. I found that this guy is weak to only Sour damage. They take the same damage from all the other elements meaning they're not weak to fresh, like regular bombardiers. I then tested it on the fire ants. Similar to the bombardier, these are only weak to sour damage. They take regular damage from salty and fresh, but they are resistant to spicy damage, just like the regular fire worker ants. Hopefully, that clears up all of the confusion from the last video, and thank you to the comment section for pointing that one out to me. The first myth today comes in from Sir Charles III, and they ask, Myth, harvesting an acorn by striking the shell and not its top yields a higher probability of leaving an acorn top. Let's test it out. I first started by breaking the acorn on its shell multiple times and got a top, two shells and an acorn bit every time. Then I tried breaking it on the top multiple times and got the exact same drops. This means, similar to the bugs in the game, the drops of the acorns are determined when it spawns in so that you can't reload the game for a higher drop rate. This means this myth is busted. It doesn't matter where you break the acorn, you always get the exact same drops. The second myth in today's episode comes in from Chill Guy, and they ask, myth. It is quicker to kill the antlion with salt arrows and an insect bow than the salt morning star. Let's find out. I killed the antlion with a level 9 salt morning star in a time of 10 seconds. I then took on the antlion using the insect bow level 9 with salt arrows. This took 22 seconds, meaning that this myth is busted, as it is much faster to kill the antlions using the salt morning star. Today's next myth comes in from TBNA Frangs, YT, and they ask, Myth, the Cortana lockdown counts towards Guard Dog. Let's find out. I'm in a brand new world and headed to the charcoal bag. I started the Cortana defense, which was easy, as I was invincible in a custom world. After the Cortana finished, I unlocked tier 1 of Guard Dog, meaning this myth is confirmed. The Cortana defense does count towards unlocking Guard Dog. The next myth in today's episode comes in from Pizza Gamer. And they ask, Myth, better armor reduces fall damage. Let's test it out. I built a ramp up and walked off with no armor on, taking me down to very low health. I then equipped a full bulky set of roly-poly armor and took the same fall again. As you can see, this myth is busted. I took the exact same amount of fall damage both times. Our next myth today comes in from Milk is Milky. And they ask, Myth, do candy charms affect your fist? Let's find out. I punched the spiky burr with no trinket equipped, and it didn't explode. Then I equipped the char char charm, and then punched the spiky burrs. This caused them to explode, meaning this myth is confirmed. The candy charms do work with your fist. Although I'd recommend using the power droplet for fist builds, personally. Today's next myth comes in from Thieverpedia, and they ask, Myth, heal basses heal more than beefy smoothies. Let's test it out. I decided to lower my health by dropping from a height, to guarantee that I lose the same amount of health every single time. I tested first with the heal basser. It took two to fully heal me back to full health. Then I tested with the beefy slop, which also took two. Finally, I tested the regular slop, which took four. There are two conclusions we can draw from this. After carefully analysing the footage, I found the beefy slops heal exactly two times as much health as the regular slop, making them a must-have. I also found that the heal basser and beefy slop heal the exact same amount. This means for solo players, you should always use beefy slop, as you can drink it much quicker than throwing a heal basser. 
Also worth noting that heal basses can heal enemies if you're too close to them. On multiplayer, heal basses are good though, because one heal basser heals all four players, instead of using a beefy slop with each player. The next myth today comes in from RX Murderous, and they ask, Myth, can infected bugs destroy things that are usually destroyed by bombs using explosive attacks? Let's test it out. We know of course that the infected weevil can destroy the haze door, as we tested it in the first myth busting. First, I got myself an infected lava, and after a while, I was finally able to get it to do its explosive attack in the right place, which destroyed the haze door. I then got an infected ladybug and brought it to the haze door also. The ladybug was also able to eventually open up the door to the haze, meaning this myth is confirmed. Both the infected lava and the infected ladybug break things usually broken by bombs with their explosive attacks. Our next myth today comes in from Vision, and they ask, Myth, can you get Mythriditism from fighting the infected wolf spider, broodmother, or black widow from me and my friend Peyton? Shout out to you and your friend Peyton, and let's see if this myth works. I made a brand new world and first killed the infected wolf spider. This actually did give me tier 1 of Mythriditism. I then tested on the Black Widow, which didn't unlock Mythriditism. Finally, I tested on the Broodmother, and this also didn't unlock Mythriditism, meaning this myth is confirmed for the infected wolf spider, but busted for the Black Widow and Broodmother. Today's next myth comes from Liam, and they ask, Myth. You can get rust in the lower yard. I can, of course, confirm this myth is true. There's plenty of rust in the lower yard. The best spot to get it is probably here on this wooden plank where the wolf spider lives. Our next myth today comes in from TBNA Frangs YT again. And they ask, myth, different tier meals have different spoiling times. So I got a tier one, two, and three meal from the cookery and waited a while. I quickly realized I had food spoiling turned off and menus pause game on, so nothing was happening for about 20 minutes, but after I fixed that, I waited for the meals to decay. After about 20 minutes of waiting, all three meals had decayed by the exact same amount, meaning this myth is busted. All meals decay at the exact same rate, regardless of what tier they are. The next myth today comes in from Cyan Essence, and they ask, myth. Going AFK at the menu for 30 minutes changes the color. You all really like wasting my time, don't you? I waited in the menus, and after exactly 26 minutes, the menu changed to the nighttime theme for the scabby in-game, meaning this myth is confirmed. This is because when you start a new game of Grounded, it begins at 7am. So, waiting 26 minutes turns it to 8pm in the menus, which means that it activates the nighttime scabby, just like in the game. Today's next myth was sent in by a Vanguard, and they ask, Myth, can bomb arrows break the pond moss? Now, we've tested bomb arrows on everything in the past, and they've been able to break everything we've put them up against, including clay, which is underwater. Will it work on pond moss? I made my Black Ox crossbow and some bomb arrows, and began spamming them at the pond moss underwater. After about five minutes of shooting 20 plus bomb arrows, I can conclude you can't break the pond moss using the bomb arrows. This myth is busted, meaning this is the first thing in the game that the bomb arrows can't harvest. And this also means you need a Black Widow dagger to get pond moss, or you can rarely get it from the spiny water fleas. Today's next myth comes in from Void Plays YT, and they ask, Myth, if you bring Wendell to Burgle, then they'll talk. Now, I really want this to work, as it would be a sick hidden feature. Let's find out. I talked to Wendell and nothing happened, but when I talked to Burgle, I was able to get some unique dialogue, which you can listen to right now. Doctor, oh, happy day, you have returned. Oh, Burgle, my trusty assistant. You mean science manager, I mean in your absence, of course. Oh, fine, whatever. I'm here to help and get our guest home safely. Please feel free to continue doing whatever it is you've been doing here in my absence. Cooking, flipping, grilling! At least you haven't burned down the place yet. Do as you will. Order received, Dr. Tully. 
And may I add that it is my pleasure to continue to serve you. I have to admit, the devs did a good job with this one. It's a cool little feature that not many people know about, and it's cool to see a wholesome interaction between the two characters. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like on it. Please leave your grounded myths down below in the comments, and I'll see you in the next grounded video. Have a great rest of your day.